Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to your channel. channel. <laughs> Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to Today it's 29 June. It's 8:30 at night. We just finished the shoot, and right after we finished the shoot, they surprised me with a big cake. The producers got me a cake, and Bollywood Hangama got me a cake too. And uh, the Bollywood Hangama cake was tasty. <laughs> uh, the film's called May or Mr. Right, and it's about a girl who uh, just cannot find Mr. Right because she's completely perfect. She's got everything in place, very unlike me. Uh, <laughs> and she knows what she wants and she wants a certain kind of guy and she's not ready to compromise and she goes on many 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 dates but she always finds something wrong with every guy so that's what it is about Mel or Mr. Right and you know Barun Sapti he's really popular amongst all the ladies especially those who watch serials so he's in the film as well and uh, yeah it's been it's been a fun time it's, it's hard work because we're shooting every single day no breaks but it's exciting and it's fun and it's I've never been so busy in my life and it's nice to be so busy. Well actually after Jelly Belly happened I wasn't really even in India because I've been doing that TV show in America called One Life to Live. So I've, I was in India for that one week that Jelly Belly released and then I went back to America and I was shooting for the show and I've just come back to shoot for Mayor on Mr. Right. There's no real big difference. Yeah, um, people always recognize me on the street. Now they scream Delhi Belly and they don't scream Ishkrish. That's the only difference. <laughs> Amir Khan, such a nice guy. It was really good and the, and the production was so fantastic. It was really good. It was such a pleasure working with him. And he's such a nice person and really cares. And yeah, it was a great experience. Yes, I'm always writing. I love writing. And I have a couple of screenplays which I've written that I want to sell. But I've noticed that people want to give their idea and then they want you to write. Like even Yashraj, they read my screenplay that I'd written, which is called Dreading My Wedding. They really liked it, but they wanted something for younger, you know, they want something for younger kids. So they actually asked me to write this. They had the concept and they asked me to write this and so I wrote it. Oh my gosh, no. I don't think so. Not right now. But I love writing, so I'm, I want to continue writing. I'm hoping that I can sell some of my screenplays. I want to work in between India and America because I'm doing, I just said One Life to Live, the soap opera there, I was doing that. And I'm also working, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to shuffle between India and America. I'm going to do a dance show, like a hosting a dance show in America with uh, this guy called America's Got Talent. He's the judge on that. No, no, Canada's Got Talent. He's a judge on that. I'm co-hosting with him, so I'm doing. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to work in India and in America, and, and be transcontinental. So it's like I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be in both places. So it's it's not such a long flight. It's an 18-hour flight to New York, and so I can just shuffle in between, and that's what I've been trying to do. No, I want to do both. Now, like before, I w I want to do both. I feel that I'm very fortunate to have gotten that opportunity to work there. Uh, a lot of people have gone and tried. For me, it was just, it was really chance and I am really grateful that it happened. I just went on a holiday. I asked somebody to had send me on an audition. He sent me for the audition and I got the role. So it was, you know, like, wow, thank you, God. <laughs>